So this is house sharing with Russ. Now a lot, a lot of people have lived with other people and shared a house. I thought I'd make it a little bit easier uh, and give you a couple of tips on to make that whole thing a lot much or a lot better, okay? First of all, in a house, they're gonna, they're gonna ask you to wash dishes, okay? You can get out of that, but you're gonna have to dry them. The way to get out of drying them is when you first ever get a dish out and you have to dry it, use an old pair of underwear, okay? Look at that. <laughs> How good's that? All right, and they'll, they'll stop asking you. Next up, to save drying, use paper plates like that. And also, I've tried to use paper pots and pans, but it, it, it doesn't work. Okay, another thing, when your housemates want to borrow CDs, always stick a couple of Barry Manilow ones on top, like this, see? Because when they go through them, they'll find those and they'll leave the rest alone, okay? <laughs> another little hint. Housemates also like to borrow soap. Now, the best thing to do is put some hair on the soap, okay? <laughs> Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> they won't be using that. Okay. Another thing is they like to borrow your clothes to your housemates, so put your names on them. It's easier sometimes to buy clothes with your names already on them, like this, see? <laughs> My mate Barry is still waiting for Barry Athletic to come out. All right. Or you can, you can improvise. You can buy, buy T-shirts with other things written on them and then improvise and make them your own. Like that. Look at this. That was just another T-shirt. Now I've called it... <laughs> Russell, see? That's... <laughs> Russell, see? All right. Another thing is working out the kitty can be very difficult. Who, who's good with money? No one in the house. So it's good to have a housemate who knows how to deal with money. And I've got one in here. Here's a friend of mine. John Simon, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Aussie home lunch. Hey. Now, mate, oh, I'm in a fair bit of trouble here, buddy. I'm in a fair bit of trouble. Could you help me out and give me a hundred bucks? I'll save your ass. <laughs> Where is it? I'll save your ass. Thanks, John. You go out and do the dishes out the back, mate. <laughs> All right. And there's usually all, always in your house there's one vegetarian and they're a little bit light on with money and they'll try and steal your food. So what I suggest is when you're making a milkshake, right, like this, I've got some chocolate in there, you have a look at that, right, just throw in some sausages, okay? No, true, they won't be stealing that and it is, it is yum-o the diddly-o too. Wait there, have a look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. All right. Mmm. Nice and sausagey. <laughs> Tastes good. <laughs> other, other things that happen, they try and steal your food in the fridge. So I set booby traps. Have a look at that. It looks like a normal ham sandwich, but look inside. <laughs> They go to get that? Oh, 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 oh. Yep. And you can disguise food too. All right, disguise it. I mean, because if they don't know what it is, now here's a clock, just a normal clock. Have a look at that. Okay, it might look like a clock, but it's not, it's a pizza. And what time is it? Dinner time. Okay, and you can just put that back on the wall. Look at that. No one will know the difference. <laughs> All right. Next up, a little hint here. Now, when, it's a big problem when... Jeez, sausage. <laughs> I shouldn't have tasted it. The big problem is here is when your girlfriend brings around unwanted guests. And this is the way you should get rid of them. They'll be coming out. Come on. Russ. This is my mum and my dad. Yeah, the best way to get rid of them. Go nude. <laughs> All right, how are you going? All right.